At my heaviest, I was over 350. I had to be eating over 5,000 calories on a bad day. I would eat till I physically felt sick. I was classified as morbidly obese. I wanted to feel good about myself. I wanted to go put on a dress and not feel like, what are people gonna think? They're just gonna think I'm this fat, disgusting blob. It took me about four years to lose the 200 pounds. I went from being not being able to walk a mile to trying on skirts and dresses in a size four. I never thought in my wildest dreams I'd be that size. I've always been a bigger girl. Ever since I was a kid, I was always like, you know, my nickname was Gordita, which means like little chunky girl. And it's kind of like in a term, term of endearment. That was always a little bit thicker, you know, a little bit bigger. And I guess subconsciously, I believe that because I looked a certain way. I was ugly. I was a big girl. I, was, I had double chin, belly everywhere. I was always the life of the party, but I felt like I had to be that loud, funny person because if not, they'd be looking at my weight. At least if I was like the butt of the joke, I wasn't getting laughed at. I had to be eating a, over 5,000 calories on a bad day. I was trying to fill a void. I would eat until I couldn't, until I physically felt sick. My favorite was Wiener Schnitzel and Taco Bell. And anything fast food, anything fried, anything sweet, it was hard. Your self-worth, it takes a toll. I didn't love myself at that time. I wanted to make myself feel better, even if it was for that moment, even if that scoop of ice cream made me feel better at that moment. I couldn't control anything else but what I put in my body. When I went to the doctor, just, you know, annual follow-up, the doctor did tell me I, I was becoming morbidly obese. My weight gain was very rapid and I needed to do something about it if I didn't want to die. These are the clothes I used to wear. It's a 3X, look at that. It's like a little tent. And I hated going shopping. It was a horrible experience. All my friends were trying on these amazing clothes that were trendy and cute and beautiful. And I had to go in the back where my grandma would shop. I would avoid anything that was bright colored, really. This is the brightest I would wear. I would wear a lot of black because it was slimming, at least in my delusional head. I think the turning point for me was one night I thought I was having a heart attack and I ended up going to the hospital and I was having an anxiety attack with panic attack. I'm so young, I should be living my best life and I'm here thinking I'm having a heart attack. That's not how anybody should be living. I wanted to feel good about myself. I wanted to go put on a dress and not feel like, does this hide my fatness? Like, does this hide my roles? Like, what are people gonna think when I first meet them? They're just gonna think I'm this fat, disgusting blob of a person. I had tried to lose weight various times, you know? I've tried every pill, magic quick fix. What made it different this time is that I stuck to it and I had an amazing support system. Hey, damn. <laughs> My friends were all encouraging. And once you know you start losing a little bit of weight and everybody's like, oh, you look great. That kind of gives you fuel. Good. Good. Hold and then out. At my heaviest, I was over 350. It took me about four years to lose the 200 pounds. Right now, I weigh 148. Bo, my trainer, was key in my transformation because he was very patient. When I met Bo, I couldn't do a single body squat without falling. Man, remember that first time you came in, all we could do was bench squats. I look at you. I've been training Denisa for about four years now, and it's been a great to see her progress. We took it nice and slow. What do you think you can handle for 10? Mm, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then progressively we started adding more and more um, weight to it and doing different exercises. I call Bo my fitness father because he pretty much introduced me to working out. So when I started my weight loss journey, I could see the excess skin on my legs, on my arms, I have it on my face. I ended up having the excess skin removal that went all the way under my chest and between my breast all the way down. You can see the scars side to side. I had a lot of complications from the wounds, but you know what? I would do it all over again. I don't care. When I um, had my skin surgery, I went from a size 24 to a size 4. And I had ordered uh, this gorgeous pink leather Versace skirt online, and it fit. I 
I had a whole, you know, crying moment. I was like, okay, so I found whatever fat clothes I had. I went outside on that dirt lot and I torched them. It was like a phoenix uprising, you know, like I rose from the flames. <laughs> Today I feel confident, I love myself. I feel like people see me for me and not just a big girl. I feel really proud of my accomplishments and the way I look now because I worked very hard to get where I'm at. If I inspire at least one person, I know that I did some good in the world. Where you're at now is not where you're gonna be forever. You are the only person standing in the way of what you want. If you want it bad enough, go get it.